Hello folks, uh, it's Sunday evening. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. Um, I wanted to record this um, just to catch up on our trades and what I'm looking for for Monday. Um, the gold trade, we put, a, we put the put on at uh, the 142 strike price and I hope you guys did that because that's turned out to be a really good trade. So we have a profit of $2,200 on the uh, GLD puts and GLD seems to be in uh, a downtrend. In fact, gold dropped $65 on Friday. So um, gold uh, looks like it's in a bearish, uh, in, in a bearish mode, but Whenever gold enters this kind of a uh, this kind of a phase, it tends to go up or down by about forty to fifty dollars. So uh, we could potentially see a swing back at some point, but right now I think it's bearish. We have a negative delta, which is great. We are up about uh, sixteen hundred dollars on this trade already, and the long call basically is worth you know eighty cents at this point. If the bearish move continues, then we may want to take it off or we could potentially save this 80 uh, cents by turning this into a uh, into a bear call. I mean, we'll keep the puts on as long as the downward pressure is going on. Uh, the trade that I'm really watching this week is going to be Google. And that's because Google's earnings reports comes out later in the week. And um, you can see Google is at 790, but we have our short at 770, 760. So that's not a great position to be in because that only gives you a $20 uh, gap. So that $20 is not a huge gap. So at this point, if you see uh, Google's at 90, on the call side, we are $40 away, whereas on the put side, we are only $20 away. So, you know, right at this moment, at least, um, the risk is more towards the put side. And of course, this was a trade uh, that we did not realize that earnings are coming in. So anyway, let's try to make the best out of it. We do have a booked profit of $1,300 on this trade. So we do have some room to give, uh, uh, you know, to give something up. But let's see what uh, what we do. And what I've done is I've looked at a couple of adjustments. So the first order of the day, I think, depending on how, of course, Google moves on Monday and Tuesday because the earnings is later in the week. But let's say 790. So which means um, our 770 is going to be threatened uh, more so than the uh, than the call side. So if that were the case, then just look at this butterfly adjustment uh, right here. So what we have is, it, uh, this is what you call an uneven butterfly because you know, the, the mid strike is 760 and then we have um, a 750 put as well as a 790. So you can see that, you know, we want to buy a 790 and that's why we're going to pay about $9,000 for this adjustment. But you know, uh, the, the margins on Google have reduced considerably so even after including uh, this nine dollars and twenty five cents, we have a total margin of twenty one uh, twenty nine thousand on this trade. So what we want to do is, if we if we looked at if we take this off, this is what we have, and you can see that you know basically our risk is on the lower side. And so by adding this butterfly, which has a very bearish tone to it, you can see it's the delta of this butterfly is a negative one hundred and fifty nine. So we want to add a bearish bearish butterfly so that we give this room here and now we push a break even out to 750. And the good thing about this adjustment is even if Google goes below 750, you can see that the maximum loss is 2150. Now we already have 1300 booked. So net net, we might be down about 800 on this trade if Google, let's say Google crashes to 730 or something like that then we'll be down 800 bucks. We just have to take the loss and move on. Um, but that would be the best way to salvage the downside on this trade. Now, by adding this butterfly, what it does is um, it keeps our maximum risk at the same 2150 level all the way up to 830. And then you can see the drop there at 830 and then it goes down. Uh, it, it goes down pretty hard. So we need to protect this part as well. But I don't want to put both adjustments at the same time because there's no, you know, we are, we are, we are a good $40 away over here. So our risk right now, our main point of concern is the lower side 
So we want to see how Google trades on Monday or Tuesday and if there's some big move somewhere then obviously I'll send out another email but basically what we're looking at if Google starts moving down then uh, we would put on a, a butterfly like this maybe in instead of the 760 we might want to go to the 750 uh, also. So depending on you know, depending on what Google does on Monday or Tuesday. So that would be the first adjustment and then let's say that we we took care of this side and then you know Google started moving up towards 800 then what we have here is again an uneven butterfly this is an 810 820 and 840 and if I check that on then what it does is again it doesn't push out a break even uh, a whole lot so uh, I don't know if this is the adjustment we would do maybe um, you know if Google looks bullish uh, we might want to just add some calls on the, on this side maybe not on the April series because that's going to expire but maybe in the May series we might just want to keep the adjustment simple and add some calls we could do that if we, you know if we did that uh, then um, we, we, we could potentially get a positive bias here again we're getting a negative delta on this because of the strike prices that we chose so we may or may not go in for this kind of a uh, yeah we're getting a credit and that's the problem uh, you know be uh, if you uh, if, if you want to get the best out of a butterfly you have to pay a small amount of debit that's the ideal situation so when you're getting a credit then uh, the butterfly may not uh, be suited uh, for its uh, for its purpose so anyway so that's what we're looking at this is definitely not some we're going to put right now but we look at this uh, uh, this lower side and uh, see what we need to do the other trade I'm looking at for uh, Monday is uh, price line and again now we have to be careful that we don't choose stocks that are uh, reporting earnings now of course if you want to make an earnings trade then that's a different issue but when we just want to put a regular trade uh, we want to make sure that uh, we don't hit that now the price line you can see is um, has is I think it's coming out in May so the yeah price line earnings is on May 8th and so we have uh, about three weeks but what we can expect is that volatility is going to go up over the next couple of weeks so even that won't be a won't be a I was thinking of a bear call because uh, I looked at the charts and what you can see on price line is that uh, it's it's pierced through the upper Bollinger Band, so I'm expecting some kind of a you know breakdown at least till about 7:30 or 7:25, and we can pocket a nice uh, thousand or fifteen hundred dollar profit on that trade. But I don't want to touch it because now again volatility is going to be increasing uh, on price line. So you know if we sell a bear call, that's a Vega negative trade, so we're going to get hurt with that. So let me see. We'll have to look at it. Always earnings um, are a uh, what do you call earnings always tend to disrupt your trading cycle unless of course we play earnings so I'm going to be looking at some earnings trades in case any of you are interested uh, these are highly speculative trades because nobody can say how the earnings report is going to come you know it could it could blast off uh, to the upside or it could get uh, rocked to the downside so anything can happen so these are highly speculative trades if you do take these trades um, make sure you put uh, you know you watch your size but uh, I'm going to be looking for some interesting trade setups uh, on these you know, on the earnings so if you look at just the earnings calendar IBM is 418 I know IBM is one solid very stable stock so uh, I'm not even sure we'll find a good trade there Caterpillar is also uh, no Caterpillar is on 22nd uh, Apple is on uh, the 23rd uh, Chipotle is on 18 okay so the Chipotle might be the first uh, uh, earnings trade that we look at let's see what there is Amazon is for April 25th Netflix is 22nd so so far Chipotle seems to be and of course Google we already have a trade we don't want to mess with Google anymore um, then we have first solar is in May uh, price line is also in May. Facebook, let's see what Facebook is up to. Facebook is also in May. Goldman Sachs is on 416. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Goldman Sachs is on Monday. So Goldman Sachs is on Monday. 
Oh, but if it's before market, okay, so we won't have a trade there because it's before market central standard time. So it's going to report earnings before the market opens. So that's out. Groupon is in May. Uh, Intel and Microsoft have become boring stocks. Uh, let's see what else is there. MasterCard is in May and uh, Starbucks doesn't make a whole lot of moves. Visa is also in May. Okay, all right. So we're looking at Chipotle immediately and then we are looking at a couple of others which come up on uh, uh, in the later part of the week. All right, guys. So we're going to hold on to the gold trade and um, we're going to look at Google very carefully this week. All right. So hopefully all of you guys have a good week. I will be in touch. Thank you.